I'm sure by now a lot of us have heard about the passing of popular comedian Breaking Face, who was found dead in his home in Delta State Worry yesterday, on Sunday the 3rd of October 2021. Now, he was found dead yesterday, but he didn't die yesterday. According to the story, he had not been in contact with his friends for a while, and the friends were worried, so they went to his home they noticed that his gate was locked with two padlocks and then they forced it open only to be met with a terrible stench a bad smell and then they go into his room to find him dead in his pool of blood his body already swollen in the early stage of decomposition the police are treating it as a murder case because i don't think he would have wanted to kill himself seeing that he was so much full of life and was looking forward to his big show in november a show that has been anticipated by a lot of popular comedians and artists. Now, this guy is a big shot. It's being said that he's worth $1 million. That is a lot of millions in Naira. So it is highly unlikely that he might have killed himself, but it is widely believed that he was murdered. When I heard he might have been murdered, my first thought was the killers are usually never strangers. I believe strongly that the killer was somewhat close to him. So first of all, we have a lot to unpack with this case. So follow me. I want to first draw a similarity of a similar murder case we talked about earlier this year in July. The gruesome murder of Pa Ayomike and his wife Chichi also found dead in their home in Delta State Worry, the same city as Breaking Face. The similarity here is that when they were killed, their gate was locked also from the outside and it took them days before they could find them. It was also their stench that led people to check on them. Although it was said that they were axed and knifed to death, we don't know the actual cause of Breaking Face's death. He might have been shot, stabbed or axed. All we know that he was found in his pool of blood and was locked in his own apartment from the outside with two padlock. By the way, we still haven't found the killers of this man and his wife, but I don't think it's the same person that would kill them that would still kill him. I don't think they are in the same cycle. However, the police need to start checking into his cycle. They don't have to look far. Starting off with his friends would be the wise thing to do, especially the first group of people to find him. Now, I'm not pointing fingers. By all right, the first people are usually the ones that the police hold as suspects until they prove that they are innocent, which wouldn't be hard if they are actually innocent. And the reason why I said the first group of friends should be held as suspects is because most times when it's a friend group circle killing murder situation, the killer doesn't go far. The Judas in the group always stick around to try as much as they can to make sure the focus is not on them. If it's a friend that killed him, that friend is still definitely around that circle because he or she knows that once they leave the circle, they will be pointed as a suspect. So they will stick around, probably cry the most. They are usually the ones to suspect. They are usually the ones even pointing fingers because they want to make sure that before they leave the circle, the focus was not on them. So I hope the police check the friends. While they are checking the group of friends, check the girlfriend too, because of course, clearly, why not? How can your boyfriend be dead for days? Where were you? Weren't you supposed to be probably closer to him? Unless, of course, she's part of the group of friends that went to find him. Now, after his group of friends, they should also check his business associates. Because this man was looking forward to his November show. So I'm guessing he's in the middle of preparation, sorting out funds. Now, I don't know his major source of income. Even though some people are saying that he might be into the internet transaction, however way you want to interpret that, but I won't say the Y word. That is what some people are speculating, that he might have been one of those internet transactions gone wrong, that probably one of his friends might benefit more from it if he is out of the picture. We have seen this a lot. This whole internet transaction circle can be very dangerous sometimes, especially when it's cash out season. Somebody is getting poisoned, somebody is getting missing, somebody is getting stabbed. So the police should check people who was partnering with him or was also standing to gain something out of that concert. Greed is a real thing. Maybe the person thought with him out of the picture he would gain more. You have to know that the show is not like he's the main star of the show. Because even without him, the show might still go on. It's not a one-man stand-up comedy show. There are other acts involved. So I would suggest the police look into his business partners. Check them very well. Check where all his money, the budget, the money, in fact, the, the funding for that show in November. They should check whose account is in. They should check where the money is. If it is in his account, then I guess we won't have to worry so much about his business associates. But if it's somewhere else, 
check that person too just check i'm not pointing fingers i'm just saying where they should check now the other group of people who might also want to check is the family it was said that his brother came into the house after they found him dead the brother took his atm card his valuables and his vehicles or his vehicle and drove off without showing too much concern or even asking the cause of his death that was what was said now that is very suspicious if you ask me so maybe they should check the family it's just going to be a lot of investigation going here he was quite popular so i'm sure a lot of people will be flocking around him this is one of the most difficult thing about being popular it will be difficult to know where to check if he had a small cycle that would have been easier but i want to guess his cycle is very big Another thing that might stall this investigation would probably be the friends. That is, if he was truly into the internet transaction like some people claimed, his friends might also be into it too. And they would not want to vulge it out. They would not want to say that this is what it is they do. Even though they are innocent of the murder, they know speaking on it, that is if it has anything to do with the internet transaction, might implicate them. The thing is, if I was into the internet transaction with a group of friends and one of them is found murdered, if the police are questioning me about his murder case, I will not say anything about the internet transaction. Even though I feel that that might have been the reason why one of them or one of us in the group might have wanted to kill him, I can't say it because it will implicate me. Because I know the internet transaction is not exactly legal. So this might put the strain in the investigation. If indeed the man was into some internet transaction. That is if indeed. I'm not sure. It's just a speculation. But nothing is impossible these days. So I really hope the friends are able to cooperate. If they are innocent, they should at least have an idea who might want him dead. And I hope the police are sensible enough to focus on the murder case and not start checking who is into internet transaction or who is not because that's not the focus here. Someone has been killed. We need to find the killers. His death is a really sad one. I hope the worry police division are able to do a good job on this. They have not given us anything on these people yet so I don't know if I can trust them on this. But what do you guys think?